Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the classic solo of the month for January through March 2018. This month I'm going to try to redo a solo lesson that I did earlier. I can't remember how long ago it was, but I didn't do a very good job. I didn't teach the song, I think, the right way, and also I, I didn't finish the lesson, which is kind of weird. But I want to try again, and I spent a lot of time, in fact, about two, three months, listening to the solo in Howlin' Wolf's Louise. And this is Hubert Someone playing the guitar. Normally when I do Hubert Someone stuff, I use my Stratocaster and I, I switch the pickup setting to be off phase or out of phase. My Stratocaster is surf green and I'm using a green screen to get the background behind me and it just doesn't work. I'm trying to get a new background for when I use that. So I'm going to use my Telecaster and I'm just going to play it. It may not sound exactly like Hubert's guitar. I'm doing the best I can, but I will show you pretty close to what he's playing. There's a couple places where I'm not absolutely positive, but remember the whole goal of this channel is for us to maybe figure this stuff out together. So it's in the key of A and what I'm going to do instead of trying to play this through all the way first. If you don't like that, listen to the original, listen to the solo, and then I'm going to show you how to play what he's playing. I'm just going to take it one phrase at a time, and then at the end I'll see if I can play it through slowly one time. I think it will take me too long to get it 100% trying to play it game speed as they say. So the opening lick goes like this. And so what I'm doing, I'm playing over the first position, A bar chord, first position blues box, and A. And I'm starting on the fifth fret of the third string, to the sixth fret, and then five, seven on the second string. And then I'm going to bend way up on the seventh fret of the third string. It's a three-fingered bend. And he does two bends right after each other. And he's going to go then, after he does the two bends, from the 5th fret of the 3rd string to the 7th fret of the 4th string. And then he's going to give a little slide, which is a Hubert Sumlin trait. So the whole first lick goes like this. And then he's got this lick. And what I think he's doing is going from the 5th fret of the 2nd string to the 10th fret of the 2nd string, a slide, then to the 7th fret of the 3rd string, whoops, to the 5th fret of the 3rd string with the slide, so the whole thing. So the whole solo so far, we've got this. And he's going to come back to the 5th fret of the 2nd string. Which is a typical, really cool Hubert Someone thing. And I'm going from the 5th fret of the 2nd string and I'm just staying on the 10th fret of the 2nd string. Something like that. And then I'm going to slide from the 10th to the 12th real fast on the 1st string to the 15th fret to the 17th. And then slide back, back down. So that whole lick. Really cool stuff. So the whole solo, let's do this whole first half of the solo. This is the first half what I consider to be the easiest half. The second half's a little tougher. Something like that. I botched that up, but you can see what I'm doing. And then he goes into this lick. is really neat. That's it's really hard to play, but I'll show you what I think he's doing. So after he winds up on the 17th fret, he's going to come to the 5th fret of the 2nd string, and then go twice on the 8th fret of the 1st string. My 1st finger is going to move, so I get the 8th fret of the 2nd, 5th fret of the 2nd string once, 
and then twice on the eighth fret with my first finger on the fifth fret. And then he's going to go like this. So one more time, five, eight, and then the next time he does it, and he's going to, you got to make sure your first finger has got the first and second strings. And I think the first three times he does it, he just gets single string licks. So I'm pulling off eight, five, and the same thing on the second string. And then on the fourth one or so, he's going to start doubling up. Really kind of cool. And he does that like this. The timing, if you count them, he's just going to keep it in time. He does it like eight or nine times, like nine nine times. So the first three. And then he's going to go into the next part. So the, that lick here, that finger staying there. What I think he's probably doing, he used bare fingers, so I'm not sure exactly how he picked that. I'm using a flat pick and I'm trying to do it where I'm up picking, down picking. So when I want to emphasize the first string, I'm picking up. When I want to emphasize the second string, then I'm downstroking. Something like that. That's He's doing something, either that or something very close to that. But that's probably the hardest part of the song. Let me try to play that slowly for you. And I'll take it from the slide. Then he's going to go into this. Something there where he's going to do another one of these bands. Something like that. Two bands on the fifth, uh, seventh fret of the third string. It sounds to me like he's going real quick, fifth fret of the third string to the seventh fret of the fourth string. Then he's going to go into one of these really manically fast licks that Hubert someone does all the time. He does a lot of them in this tune, Louise. And I've listened to this over and over again, and the only part of it I can make out is something where he pulls off the seventh fret to the fifth fret of the fourth string and winds up on the seventh fret of the fifth string. So to deconstruct that lick, I think I hear him doing this. And what I'm doing, when I come back, I'm going to go five, seven on the third string, fifth fret of the second string, and then back seven, five, and then pull off like that. So played slowly. So the whole thing played quickly. Something like that. Then he's going to go into one of these. Getting ready to go to the five in the song. And what I hear him doing is bending the seventh fret of the third string. And then fifth fret of the second string. Fifth fret of the first string. Eight five on the second string. Check the tap. And that lick, he's going to go to the seventh fret of the first string, fifth fret, and then fifth fret of the second string. So the whole thing. That's what I hear. And he's going to do two bands, bending the eighth fret of the second string with the first finger on the still on the fifth fret of the first string. And then what I hear is a real quick double stop. Seventh fret, fifth fret, second and third string. So that whole thing so far, let's take it from the from the end of the that part where he does this. Then I hear this. So I'm going to the seventh fret of the first string. Eight five on the second string. Seventh fret of the third string. Let's that hang there. And he also holds the seventh fret of the third string and then the fifth fret of the second string does one of those.
So you got this. Take the whole lick. And then he's going to come right back. Four bands on the second string, eighth fret. And right as he's getting ready to let down, he comes back. Eight, five on the second string. Seven five on the second on the third string. And winds up on the seventh fret of the fourth string. So that whole thing, let's try that again. It's And then he's going to do one of these. So that same kind of lick, check the tab. More bands. Two bands on the seventh fret of the third string. Another one of those. So that whole lick there. And then he wraps up the solo with one of these. Another one of these bands. 5th fret of the 2nd string, <coughs> excuse me, 5th fret of the 1st string, and a pull off, 8-5 on the 2nd string. And then he lets it go and then plays either a D, E ninth chord, or maybe an E7, I think it's an E ninth, so he wraps it up like this, or some kind of chord that he plays there at the end. It's kind of hard to hear what he does. Let's go through the whole thing. Let's see if I can play it slowly one time through. Not perfect, but if you want to figure out what he's doing and how he's playing this wonderful solo, I, I think I'm pretty darn close on this. And again, if you have ideas or you think I'm doing something wrong, tell me, because I'm really trying to figure this thing out. It's one of my favorite solos ever. So he starts out. This part, does it nine times before going into that, or you can just keep time with the song and, and tell one to come out of it. But that's what he's doing. He's got something where he's holding that fifth fret, first and second strings, and doing those pull-offs, which is really something you don't hear in a lot of... In, any electric blues that was really an original Hubert Sumlin type thing. So there's my lesson for the solo for Howlin' Wolf's Louise. Hope this is helpful. Hope you enjoy this. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. Corrections. Again, trying to play exactly what these guys play is really pretty much impossible. What I would rather do and what I try to do is just pick up some licks, pick up some ideas, see where he's playing and maybe you can come up with some original stuff using the same positions, the same ideas. Like just doing this. That's a really cool idea that you could come away with. Or some of these slides that Hubert Sumlin does. Or this. The way he you know, plays those strings. Anyway, I'll be back again in a couple months with another classic electric blues solo that we'll take apart and try to figure out together. See you then.